Great. So just keep it on and just adjust it. Okay. okay. This our mic. We can record the audio. You guys need sound. Oh, yeah, that would have been great. Uh, well, isn't, isn't, uh, are we getting uh, you went to school? Come on over. This will interest you. No, really, it will. Stay for a few A lot yeah. <laughs> okay, we're just waiting 10 more minutes. We're getting a sound system. Okay. Probably <laughs> lock the gate. You want to have like bikers on the side? Maybe we should put a bike in the <laughs> See, you might want to be just across. No, no. Just go across. I hear there's just one step away. Okay, we're He's a breezy kid. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I don't think she was going to stay here. You know what happens when you reload? Oh, yeah. You <laughs> Capitan. Why, why you got a minute? Do you want to talk about the success of your uh, your river ride there, maybe? Um, well, I think actually it's here. Oh, the sound system's here. This is quite, quite, quite fantastic. We got a little sound system. Still don't want to talk about it until you get the tunage.
test test. Okay.
할수 있는 사람들이 아니잖아요. 여기 아무래도 저소득이 많이 사니까 그래서 걸어 당기고 자전거 타는 분들이 많은데 그러한 길들이 너무나 없어갖고 차 사고나 교통 사고가 제일 많은 지역이라고 합니다. 그래서 여기에 그 시의원들이나 아니면 여기 서포트를 해주실 수 있는 모든 분들이 이렇게 함께 목소리를 모아서 이 한인타운에 이러한 칠각길에 이러한 자전거 레인들이 훨씬 더 많이 생겨야 된다라는 목소리를 같이 높여줬으면 합니다. 감사합니다. Thank you. Um, next speaker will be Yang Ho Kim of Korean Resource Center. 네, 안녕하세요. 저는 민주학교의 시민참여 코디네이터인 김용호입니다. 저희 민주학교는 어, 다른 단체들과 마찬가지로 이번 자전거 노선을 어, 환영합니다. 한인타운은 LAC 가운데서도 인구 밀도에 비해 녹색 지대가 많이 낮은 지역 중에 하나입니다. 그렇기 때문에 저희 민주학교는 공원 건립 등 친환경 개방 정책을 지지하고 있고요. 자동차보다 더 깨끗한 교통수단인 자전거를 더 안전하게 사용할 수 있는 자전거 전용 노선이 한인타운에 들어서는 것을 지지합니다. 이번 노선 도입을 계기로 더 많은 한인들이 일상생활에서 자전거를 사용하게 되기를 바랍니다. 네, 감사합니다. Next we'll have William Green, who's a youth cyclist in, in the area. Hi, how are you doing? Um, well, I just want to speak up on, you know, the 7th Street bike lane. It's, um, it's going to be really good riding down 7th Street now, you know. Um, I've been riding my bike for about three years, and um, it's, it's going to be um, a better alternative to riding down Wilshire, you know, because Wilshire gets, you know, heavily traffic, you know, sometimes. And um, the 7th Street um, bike lane is going to be very useful. You know, I run errands down 7th Street, you know, to get to Big Lots, you know, to get to, you know, Carl's Jr., wherever I have to go eat. You know, um, so I'm glad that they're installing the new 7th Street bike lane and I'm looking forward to um, riding down 7th Street a little bit more and um, it's going to be a pleasure and I thank you the Los Angeles Bike Coalition for having this, you know, press conference. Um, lastly, one of Kiwa's members, Sung Jung Jung, will speak. Yeah, 안녕하세요. 저는 Kiwa에서 나온 Mr. Bong입니다. 이곳에 자전거 전용 도로가 생긴다는 것은 반가운 일이죠. 제일 첫째 고, 저기 뭐야 환경이 좋아져요. 공해가 없어지지 않습니까? 차가 들 다니니까 공원이 없어요. 여기는 우리가 공원 문제 때문에 열심히 싸우고 해서 이제 겨우 공원을 건립하겠다 그러는데 그 공원 가지고 되겠습니까? 조그마한 공원 가지고 좀 주위 환경을 좀더 살기 좋은. 것으로 만들기 위해서는 자전거 전용 도로가 꼭 필요도 하고요. 우리들이 건강을 위해서라도 필요합니다. 우리 후대를 위해서라도 이 일은 꼭 성사되리라 믿고 이만 줄이겠습니다. 감사합니다. Okay. Um, any questions um, from the press about the bike lanes or anything bike related in Koreatown? Ah, oh, go ahead. No, I did for the years. Go ahead, ask your question. Yeah, how do you proceed uh, the project? So, is it going to be like just drawing a ride on the road or like, you know, do you guys uh, put up like signs or something? Could you give me some detail about the project and how it goes yeah. from the afterward of this year? Uh huh. Yeah, so the, the bike lane will be striped. Um, they will be removing one travel lane and, and keeping parking. So, businesses should not be affected. And if anything, more people biking and walking um, will increase business. Um, so that will be striped um, um, in October. It's something that the city of Los Angeles has already committed to um, and that we've been pushing for for a very long time. And um, we have been doing outreach right now um, to all the business owners along the corridor. Um, we've done bike rides and we've had other events to, to really raise awareness about the bike lane and make sure that the community feels um, they feel like it's a welcome project in the area. How long does it take to finish the construction? Hmm? How long does it take for the project for the from project? afterward? Oh, they can stripe it very quickly because they don't have to repave the street or do anything expensive. They can just, they just need to restripe the paint. So very quickly. Maybe like a week or two weeks? Yeah, I, I think so. Allison, uh, in lieu of some of the events that happened this, uh, last night in Koreatown, well, I'm kind of wondering uh, how, how safe is uh, striping going to be if you have a drunk driver that doesn't pay attention to any of these roads? 
Well, I mean, unfortunately, we can't control people who, who choose to drive under the influence of alcohol. But this bike lane will make it safer for the majority of folks who who wouldn't normally feel comfortable riding on the street. And you know, I think that drivers have to take full responsibility for their for their actions. But this is going to help increase safety definitely by by a significant increase. Great. Uh, a follow-up question. You, you're talking about interesting people in the area, yet the school hasn't even sent out a representative. In fact, they closed their gates or something like this. Do you think that making the streets safer for school children is part of your agenda too? Yeah, I mean, our goal is to really reach marginalized cyclists um, from families to youth to workers. We really want to make sure that the folks that depend on their bikes to get to work or school are, are taken care of first and foremost um, as the bike plan in the city of Los Angeles rolls out. Um, any other questions? Okay, we can break and do interviews and things like that. We're going to be kind today, not asking Mr. Ord why he charged a quarter for his air. Oh, Allison, actually, you want to ask? Yes. Sounds good, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Bucky is cool? Yeah. That's good. Ninth grade now? Kids are genius, right? He's got a, he's got a family that bikes. So yeah, I'll tell you, um, some of the work that we do besides trying to get bike lanes is also do that with the public. Our city of Lights Park, we do a lot of community and management legislation to recycle the field, what the law is, how to ride safely in the street. We also have well, done that's what, that's family races and stuff for kids um, throughout the whole county. Sort of um, and also, this is part like of a bigger, a bigger um, plan by the city of Los Angeles. It's called the Are Bicycle Master Plan, with lanes, uh, which you can find out. They have a website uh, uh, called LA Bike Plan. Uh, 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 and 7th Street is the first bike so lane to be dragged out of that. So the goal is to actually get four bike lanes to make a network through Koreatown and other parts of Central LA over the next 20 years. So it's a very big plan and it not only covers bike lanes, but it also has like an educational program on how to do outreach to motorists. We've been working on doing some bus shelter ads about how to ride safely in the street. I would, you know, that's excellent. Because sometimes it's not just you driving, it's also taking it. Um, like, like, the like, uh, you know, so no, for I, I know, just because I know you. Have a where where can people learn about yeah. them? They can go to our website, uh, LA-Dash. Oh, well, uh, hyphen, uh, it's like this. Uh, hyphen, uh, uh, bike, uh, bike uh, dot org. Uh, and so we have a, a section with all these resources about where you can buy a bike, where to ride, what are safe trips, and you know, things like that. How to commute to work. Uh, yeah. uh, do you have a contact in this website? Um, yeah, I mean, I can give you my contact. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't have my card, but I'll let me register. Oh, no, no. She got lost in all. Yeah. I'm still waiting for three. <laughs> where, where are you? Which one? Oh, okay. Korea. Oh, okay. What's your name? Did we talk about the I don't think so. Well, actually, maybe I found a report that, you know, about what he called. Well, he had called about bicycle parking ordinance. It was actually a different issue, but I remember seeing Yeah, because I found the hour before the show that there's a plan that's the reason I was wondering if you can play the yeah, yeah, no, I'm, I think you'll probably have a longer, better explanation.
Yeah, thank you. Thank you. All right, I want to thank you. What was your first name, sir? Of course. And nice to see you. Yeah, they're going to do the first segment. So, that was, that was awesome. That was awesome. That was great. No, no, no spotlight. This is for radio. You know, I'm not using images. I'm sorry. It's exciting. It's the first one down to bike land. The first bike lane to get straight. Yeah. Thanks for telling us about it. Yeah, thank you. Nice to meet you. No. Yeah, of course she will definitely be up and we'll have a lot of people coming in. Reyes as well as Sunny Blessing over here. Yeah. Weston, we haven't talked as much to him because only four blocks in the bike here in the country, but Reyes is like a super big fan. Alright, Aaron, this is a follow-up. Oh, he was good against the Weston. Yeah. So we'll let you know about the press conference. Oh, Weston don't okay. like that. <laughs> oh, yeah. We get things done, that's the main thing. Okay. He doesn't have to like you. Alright, yeah, let me know about that. Yeah. Okay, Thanks. bye.